Can you tell me if you saw Mr. Montague Dunn on the day of his death? Yes, of course. I met him, and we went to see Albert, his son, at around half past nine. He appeared quite calm. What were you doing on the morning of the accident? After paying multiple visits to Albert, I had a little talk with Miss White. Then I returned to my desk to complete some paperwork. Suddenly I observed that Mr. Dunn was not feeling well, so I ran immediately to fetch Albert. I clearly remember that it was around half past ten, for I was late that morning. Thank you, Mr. Hamish. We shall continue our investigation. Your father's death does seem highly suspicious. What were your movements here on that day? Suspicious? Well, I was working in the seed house, taking care of a lice, a something, or, or Lear, Pontus, or... No, wait. Ah, oh, these Latin names. And I spent so many hours trying to memorize them. Did you see your father that day? Yes. He came here with Mr. Hamish for his weekly visit. There was nothing unusual about that. And then? Nothing. They stepped out to the backyard. It was perhaps 20 minutes before 10 o'clock. Then about 10 minutes later, I saw my father heading for the dry tropics room while Mr. Hamish returned here. And Mr. Hamish and Miss White, what were they both doing that morning? Mr. Hamish visited me a couple of times. I also saw him returning from talking with Miss White, and that was at 10 minutes past 10. But then he ran back here to me to tell me that my father was feeling unwell. We hurried across to the water lily room and I found my father lying dead on the floor. Oh my God. Thank you, young man. We shall see you again soon. Can you tell me what Mr. Dunn was doing upon the day of his death? I can, but there is nothing very special to say. I was in the laboratory when I saw Mr. Dunn heading towards me. Tuesday is the day of his weekly visit. It was supposed to be at nine, but he was ten minutes late, as usual. And then? Well, he came in to say good morning. Then I saw him spend two or three minutes by the plants outside the laboratory. After that, he ran out in the direction of the nursery, where Mr. Hamish was working. He was always in a rush during the inspection, you see. I would pity anyone who stood in his way. And that was the last time you saw him? Yes. I stayed in the laboratory until 20 minutes to 11, when I heard the cries of Albert and Mr. Hamish from the large glass house. I joined them as soon as I could. For I knew that something must be very wrong. 
What exactly were you doing in the laboratory? I was recording an experiment for my thesis. I only stopped my work once when Mr. Hamish visited me briefly around 10 o'clock. You say you were recording an experiment when the tragedy occurred. Might I listen to the role? Oh, certainly. Please do. You will find it in the laboratory. It is number 320. Uh, thank you, miss. Cylinder Records. Here it is. This recording seems very long. It is unnecessary to listen to all of it. Miss White was in the laboratory, as she told us. 